Hello everyone and welcome back to Android 1800. I uh, just wanted to say for the beginning thank you for all of this wonderful support for uh, this Let's Play series. It's been a wild ride so far and it never really ceases to exist uh, to, to um, surprise me there that Miss Hunt also now attacks me and yeah I think there's also been some buffing there going on because since when are ship of the lines really as fast as a cargo ship? Obviously these two guys here are fully capable of catching a cargo ship that is on its route to the old world. Fortunately for us, it was able to leave the area. Now, new world it is. New world still is really exciting, <laughs> messy, um, whatnot. And I think also that uh, Miss Hunt, at least, she's got some peace out there that she's able to get ships over to my cargo ship. I'm a bit surprised there. Look at the map down here. Just look at the presence that Princess Ching has in the area. She really doesn't want to give up Jade Fountain, does she? Now, we could, of course, launch a surprise attack coming from the old world, going right into the harbor area, take the, the island, um, move my ships out again and just have this island here with the white flag piece. Um, is possible. We could annoy her with that. Mm, the retaliation, though, I think would come at some point as well. Now, enough with the babbling, enough with the bobbling. We have Still work to do once again. To I'm in the process of my rum production that we have over there. And what I think, uh, we are lacking some logs there right now, right? So that is, is extremely low. Let's just check it out. My lumberjack huts, we can push them. Absolutely. 50% more outcome for these guys. Let's have, let's have, let's have one more. Just some over here. Can we, can we push this one close there? 99%, I'm totally fine with that. I'm not a 100% guy. And 99% is just totally fine for me as well. Um, just to push a few more logs. By the way, this seems like an awful long distance there. So let's just have a paved road there. All the way to this warehouse that is also supplying a deep poncho down. And of course, a little upgrade just for you. So that you have a couple more ramps available. Now, that is of course all for this uh, trade route here that goes with the rum. And I actually prepared a cargo ship for this route, a second one. Unfortunately, it was destroyed um, before I started recording, so I do need to get us another one out. It's almost close to completion. We will have to send it them back over here, this island, just so that we... There it is, actually, right? Yep. There you go. So we need to send it to this harbor here first, right? Then we need to send it up to this point here, and then to this point, and then I can start the straight route, and only then. Why not directly here? Because we got Princess Ching's Island, of course, with those nasty-looking harbor artilleries um, that could fire then. So we do need to kind of, like, go around that. Also, for the Docklands, in two seconds, uh, Tobias is arriving. I mean, he's not really arriving right away. He's appearing on the map somewhere. I haven't seen where he's actually appearing. Um, I don't think it's actually in my visible area. So he's now on the map then soon, and he will um, uh, trade the goods. Let's just check that we have enough storage then for all of that. So I could up upgrade my harbor area. We do have the money for that. Or I think it's cheaper to just go ahead with some depots there. Yes, 5,000 credits in comparison is nothing. So let's just go ahead with two more of them. They provide 50, uh, is it 50? It's actually 100 tons of storage uh, for each module. So that's pretty cool. Um, so that we can really start exporting exporting all these juicy goods here that the juicy soap especially that we have there now pigs we by the way have in a lot i was boosting my soap production there a tiny bit let's just check it out how much we produce there now nah, it's not full capacity because of full storage so we would need to wait there a couple of sacks let's just get the other soap factory out and uh, boosting would be possible more or less more or less I could do it. I could also get a trade union up and running here. And by the way, this one, let's upgrade. Let's upgrade some of those guys. Oh, we definitely need to do this. This is this is a culprit. This is something that is slowing down the economy. So let's just get us a couple of these warehouses out and running. Now, that's the rum trader. Of course, at this very point, he starts here. So I need to wait with Tailwind now before I get Tailwind on this route. He is, is starting attack. harbor under attack. Always a bit cautious with that. Ah, it's combined forces of, of Miss Hunt and Princess Ching there destroying my fisher, my fisherman. Um, we are also down on influence. I can't build any more harbor artillery attack. there or harbor defense. So for now, we need to wait. This is where it's actually coming in. The 
uh, my next productions here, right? So we have the, the light bulbs, the glass, the spectacles. That's pretty attack. important. For that, however, we do need copper and zinc. I don't think we can actually get this one out. First of all, Captain Tobias is in, so we do have some trading. Let's just check this one out quickly for the products that I need. Um, that I prepared right, the, it was the caoutchouc after all. For that we need the tallow, and for that I need to reach a certain export volume. At the moment it's still fish that's leading. It's going to take a while, right? This is going to take a real while before we can do anything here. Um, storage is then full, also of the pig hats. All right, nothing unfortunately I can do. And where is the copper and the zinc? Oh, that's, that's just really bad. 12 contracts we would need. 12 contracts, insane. Hmm. My current mines, uh, I will, I will boost them. I'm sorry, but I have to boost them. That's minus seven um, for the additional stuff. And the schnapps is in though. Yep, the schnapps is in, right? So the boosting is fine. Um, we still have a content population. We still have content workers. Um, even though we're boosting and exploiting the hell out of them, they still like us um, nevertheless. Um, and with that, we should be getting in a nice surplus of copper and zinc then, eventually. And with that, I can start at a, a very cautious breast production overall. Now, no caoutchouc at the moment. Let's pause at the bicycle factory. That's a bit of cash that we saved this way. Speaking about cash, I think yeah, the rum is a bit of a problem. Beer should be absolutely stable again, though. Just check the beer. Beer is going up perfect as it should. The rest is also going up, except the sewing machines machines all right where do we have my swing machines there I've got the two of them boosted and there is the yep oh actually wait a second perhaps we can reach this swing machine there still if I'm careful ah, I can do this we just move it down here right and this would still be electrified perfect um, and let's also just check real quick because I've neglected that for a bit of time there the warehouses that we have so all the ramps are working and not overloaded because upgrading them is really cheap now. Now it's been a while, let's put Tailwind now on this trade route for the rum so that we get two ships now and then I would like to go with um, another cargo ship here for the cotton where at this very moment Oyster Catcher is coming in, a bit damaged but alive. Yeah, it's, it's all about the new world there really. These ships need to just get really quickly into their position. We have 400 K there. Are we suffering anything else? I think share income is at the moment rather low as well. Oh, it's actually still looking fine. Uh, we cannot afford this one. Cannot afford this one of course also because of influence. At this point it's really all about influence and we need to get those investors up. Now for that, first of all um, I can prepare something else and that is I can get rid of my clipper. Let's just get rid of both of them. I would like to have no more clippers and I would like to get another cargo ship out. Oh, oh, look at that. This is looking interesting. Is there... A, it's a very hesitant attack, I should say. <laughs> it's not a full-out attack that she's doing there right now. It's a stupid attack by the looks of it. Princess Ching, really, you don't know if you want to attack or not, right? Because this is how it's looking right now. Uh, let's get the battle cruise out there a bit again. Just in general, let's move my ships out a bit. Uh. Yep, she is really, she's really attacking. So this is no coincidence there. It actually looked like a coincidence at first. Ah, the damage she's doing to my cannons is just insane, really. I mean, she's not going to take Madison, obviously, but still nice move. Once again, we should never underestimate that witch. I can't believe that I'm actually calling Princess Ching a witch now. And Miss Hunt is my, my lover girl at this point. How tame she is. Alright, there's a couple of cannons going down. She's losing ships. Um, there might be some loot in it for us. Alright, so that might be one of the only things that comes out of that. My battle cruiser has a nice range, um, so it can attack from far away um, and still do some nice stuff. And I've lost three cannons only so far, so she should be backing off any time now. And let's try to get this warship out there. It's a bit damaged and it's stuck, unfortunately, by the looks of it. Yeah, yeah, off it goes. Now she's trying to move. 
I mean, it's also, of course, for these people living here, a nice, you know, it's like cinema. There was no cinema back in the days, but now you have it. You can just sit there and enjoy, enjoy a big battle right in front of you. I mean, how cool is that? <laughs> There's even the cannons flying around, the cannonballs, as the ships are going down right here. I think this is actually a pretty cool sight there overall, as my fleet is trying to... I mean, trying, yeah, succeeding in defending myself. That's pretty cool, gotta say that. I like that view. She's now attacking my steam shipyard, by the way. And in that case, that we should not lose. It's really expensive, right? So, she's down to the last ships now. And I know, of course, with that first person view, I'm totally neglecting my ships and probably lost one or two here. But honestly, it's all about the looks and you can see everything. Now let's just get my my ships out there to get the loot, because there is some loot. Why well, that was really a big attack though. She is already moving away with this one, she's losing that one. I'm losing another one because no idea why actually. Why are we taking so much damage here though? Yeah, it's just look at the range of this one, and then look at the range of my ships. We, we cannot do anything to her, really. Okay, there are some penny file things here. That's lots of coin. There, it's down. And, oh, even, even, yeah, well, spectacles, why not? Was There's also some botanical garden item. Ah, uh, really? And it's Miss Hunt this time in the new world. It's Miss Hunt that is chasing down my ships. No longer is Princess Ching the one, but Miss Hunt has built up a blockade here in perfect unison. Like they're totally blocking my route there on purpose. This is no coincidence. Smart move overall, very annoying too. Yeah. Because Princess Ching is just, you know, roaming around, but Miss Hunt is actually building up. Ah, and look at that, the Admiral took it on himself. Of course, he destroyed my shipyard, my steam shipyard, and that's 90k that this costs me. He actually moved in to destroy it because it only had like 3 HP left or so, and it was the Admiral, I don't believe that. They're all three working together at this point. Just need to be very careful where they are, where they could be. Since they are working together now. Let's get the items to my harbor and the, well, repair the remaining ships that I had. I have built another one, Hui Kang, that is coming out now. At this point, I'm not really surprised anymore, right? That they are so strong and working together now, it seems. Also in the new world, that's just, yeah. I think we need to shut down the trade routes there at some point. I can't do that, of course. I need to get more ships over. That's the only way. All right, uh, we can boost my income there just a tiny bit with the pocket watches and the penny file things. It's a tiny boost really, but it is a boost. And let's also pause these spectacles. Let's use the ones that we have as a nice starting package. Then also the cherry and yeah, nothing of that is really worth anything. And also here the pocket watches. There we should see some nice movement now. There you go, coming in. So that's a bit of cash. And how's it looking with my ooh, advanced weapons? We've got 40 tons available. I would sell them or mm, let's build a big batty instead of instead of the of repairing all of them. Let's build a big batty instead. We have the resources now. And there's also some attack range increase for early birds that I can use. Well, let's repair them though first. Get a bit out of the way there for the my steam bream that is doing there something. Yep, unlock unloading some cotton uh, fabrics and some rum at least. So there is some stuff coming in still for my people. That is still working. And now we need to wait three minutes in medicine before I can rebuild my shipyards. And there's the next cargo ship down. Just as the blockade here is continuing to shoot down any ship that is getting to my harbor area. I do have some influence. I could build the big baddie. I could also take over an island. An important island, perhaps. How much would that be worth? 
600,000 with the 88,000 here. That's too expensive for us to afford at this point. Uh, and we have, of course, now a piling up of, of goods in River of Stars, obviously. Also, here's the coffee fertility. For that, I would need more rarers, though, so I can't get that up right now. The coffee production. I still need to find a way of destroying that here. So, no idea at this point, honestly. I think we might be stuck for the new world. And they are just totally working together now, waiting for ships to get in so they can destroy that. Problem is, if I send some ships in to destroy them, I'm pretty sure that all of these ships will come and destroy my fleet in return. So how should we proceed in this area now? I could go um, alliance with the pirate if Sean is that friendly to us, I guess. I mean, it's it's a long way, of course. We need to bribe him. We need to pay for the peace treaty. Um, and Sean is pretty much at peace with all of them. But if we manage to get to alliance with him, he would help us out, of course, in destroying them. Um, that might be an option. So I could try to, to flatter him to also bribe him. And I think we might actually do this. Let's try the... Nah, it's just really... It's 90k. Uh, taking that is just insane. We have 14k on the balance right now, but of course that's because the pocket watch is in. So that's something. The island is back, though. So the the, the siege, siege is over. So let's rebuild quickly two cargo ships there. And... 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 and look at the big baddie there. Some of you want to see that. Lots of you want to see that. And now we can build it. Just need a proper location. Here, I guess. There you go. We can actually build two of them then side by side. Let's build the first one. Big Batty. Holy cow. 22,000. It costs me lots of building resources and 350 on the maintenance cost. But boy, is it looking pretty. Uh, we could build a second one right away. Uh, I think that's actually worth it. Building the second one here. Let's do this. There you go. Two big baddies in all their glory. They are going to do some massive destruction. Let's... Can I not do this? Oh, okay. Let's get rid of those two, though. And then I'm just going to rebuild those two, right? And that's the end of it. Um, That's going to help us out with the next attack, hopefully. Something that I could try is this resident quest at delivery. Oh my goodness. Please don't be something rare. It's coffee. Of course, I don't have coffee. Like, 16 tons. Even that is too much. A random reward sounds awesome, but unfortunately coffee is not something I can do right now. Um, what I'm also trying to do here is I'm trying to re-roll as often as possible to get the white flag. Trying to get it out of Archie. Perhaps it is there. Um, we don't have any other traders available in the old world nor in the new world. Um, the other way would be uh, the pirate, of course, and Harlow. We're at peace with her. We can continue. <laughs> Yeah, not very successfully, so trying to flatter her. There's also no chance for trade rights. And Sean is still nine more minutes with us. And it's unlikely, the peace treaty. So I'm not going to do that, right? Uh, it's just it's just not going to work out. Um, oh, wait a second. I'm a bit too quick there, military-wise. I think our score is still too weak in comparison to Sean, right? If that gets better, we might have a better go at him. Um, in comparison, Anne Harlow, that's just really low there, her score. So I think we have just a very good chance of actually getting her to alliance. That would help out too. Um, the Mankey Crab is another one of my new cargo ships. Let's just try something here. Let's get this one to the Harbor of Totenkopf there first. And by the way, is Big Betty doing anything already? Nah. Just watching. There's anyone that would like to come close. Oh, we also got some ruins there. Oh, yeah. We can rebuild those fisheries there. Are they out of fish? No, they're still not out of fish. So that can still work for us just fine. Okay, so that we don't neglect at least the city building aspect of this game. Let's have a look at what we could do over here. So there is a couple more buildings that we can squeeze in. That's a few more farmers um, that's going to help us out a bit. Um, at least in getting some workforce in. Uh, Tax-wise, of course, no can do. There's some ruins. Let's get rid of them. And what do we have here? We have the hunting cabins. Let's get let's get rid of them. We don't need them here anymore in Madison. And yeah, there it's the pier. It was only a question, a uh, matter of time. I think, are they no longer at war with each other? They're still at war with each other. So how does he have the resources for that? All right, Admiral and Miss Hunt still at war, though he finds the time to send a ship over to destroy my peer. That's how the AI operates on this small scale. Missy Picky, 
over there. So nothing I can really do about that. Um, I don't have, absolutely, I don't have the influence. I can't do it. I can't build up another row of defense over there. Um, we either get the pier over there, or I'm just endlessly now um, trying to repair it and wait for the next attack to come in. There is a siege though. That is also a bit of a problem because it yeah, gets rid of this building. And also the route, of course, is now disrupted. The, the trade routes, I think. So they will have to go around the island. Um, at least they're doing this automatically. So not that much damage there. I definitely need to have an upgrade. And I will need to get We're some materials over. That would be more bricks then, especially. How's it looking? Tobias is departing right now. We should have had more trading um, that is coming in then. So I can also check this one once again. Um, soap is now the leading one. Perfect at 600 almost. Way uh, pretty far away from the 2000, of course. That is not so bad. With 1000, we get the first um, specialty, uh, specialty slot over there. With that, I can build another trading contract and start exporting more of it. Um, if we need that. Now let's also just check. I have coal and iron ore now plenty. I will increase my soap production with that. And hopefully we kind of like, I, I don't know. We need we need to go for the trade contract. We need to go for 12. We need to fully force now the docklands. Because there's no other way of getting it. Right? We got this island over there. That is over 2.5 million if I want to purchase that. Um, with a bit of tink and then we get a bit of copper down here in the main island of the, the Admiral. So there's no no other way of getting actually tink or copper in other than the two um, mines that I'm using already. And that's barely enough, right? With that we are not we are not doing anything. So there's a bit of brass of course coming in. That's good. We are having a brass surplus right now. Is that right? Of plus two? Of plus three actually. Hmm. Alright, so I... Even though, wait a second, we have plus three, even though I consume it with the the steam motors. Is it that less or that, that little volume? That surprises me a bit there, honestly. All right. Um, I could probably get us two spectacle factories up, if I'm being honest. But it's a low, low production. Yeah. How much, how much brass do we need? That's the big question here. Let's activate it. Check it out. It's only one, so I really would need only two of these here. Um, and we probably would um, solve that problem with the brass already. Hmm. It's all about investors. I just need to get to investors somehow. So the spectacles is realistic. Um, the light bulb anyway, that's cheap. Um, but the coffee would be my other main culprit. And for that, uh, for that we need to work a bit harder though. All right. Um... Yeah, I'm going to build the, the spectacle one. I think we can actually afford only one and boost it. That would be the cheapest option. We still have room over there. So just beside the pub, I can build that. Right, and then I can use the spectacle. So at least that is working. So for the coffee, ladies and gents, there is another big problem that is nagging now. Right, and that is how we get the coffee. Now, for that, we do need obreros and... We are using a lot of barrels right now for the bricks. I could, of course, stop all the brick factories on this island. That would give me 200 of barrels. It's not, it's not much. Mm, do we consume them anywhere else? Double not for the here. rum. Not for the cotton mill. Because we do have a couple of them already. They would need the fried plantain. Where do we get this one? Well, yeah, Jade Fountain was such an island. That provided that. So I think Jade Island, Jade Fountain, is the one that I need to go for. Yeah. That would be a target. Or we explore the new world a bit, even though I don't think we can survive that long, and find us an island that has plantain on it. Either way, it's getting difficult. Stay tuned. <laughs> 